most of my days I'm not writing. You know, the, 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 the reality for a journalist is that you spend a lot of time thinking of stories, a lot of time trying to get sources to talk. Uh, um, if you're, you know, um, in all likelihood, you have to spend a lot of time like transcribing your interview tapes, you know, which is really a heinous thing to do, but you just have to. And and uh, and and the reality is that you know a, a minority of my time is spent writing. But when I actually sit to write, and I think that's your question, um, I tend, you know, to I tend to outline my stories. So and, and as I'm like. Because I'm a magazine journalist rather than, say, a, a news reporter, I'm inside my story for quite a while. You know, the, in, in, upwards of anywhere from, let's say, three weeks to, in the case of one story I'm doing now, four or five months. And there's some stories that I string out for even longer than that. So I'm spending a lot of time kind of, you know, sort of wallowing in my story and, 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 um, and thinking, you know, uh, you know, what's the beginning of my story? You know, what, what exactly are the certain themes that I need to hit on in the story? Such that um, I'm kind of pregnant with all this by the time I sit down and write. And for me, it works to um, write in long spates. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm, um, uh, f for all of my shortcomings as a writer, I tend, knock on wood, not to be afflicted by writer's block. And so I will usually write 12 hours a day. And uh, that's nonfiction. A fiction, you just can't do that. It's, a, I mean, it's like six hours and you're, you know, have brain fever. And, and uh, but, um, but I, I, I tend to write, I mean, uh, uh, you know, my first drafts I usually do over a period of five, six days. And those are, and I'm speaking of stories that are, you know, six, seven thousand words. I'm a pretty fast writer and I'm pretty good at concentrating. And those days are not pretty days. You know, I don't shave and I often don't bathe and I really, you know, look and smell awful. And, and you know, and I, and I like eat popcorn for breakfast and, and, uh, uh, and um, you know, I, it's a real Boo Radley kind of, you know, um, you know, visual. And, and uh, but I mean, that's, and then when I finish, it's a national holiday, you know, and it's, and then, and, and then like after like 12 hours of, you know, celebrating myself, then comes that, that gloomy feeling there, the feeling of foreboding when you know the editor is actually reading it and, and you have not yet heard the, uh, Wow, this is the greatest story I've ever, you know, written, and and, and you, you know, it's like the the Grim Reaper is coming. I'm going to do just a little word association with, um, with some of the people that you've interviewed. Um, so just do a little free association with a couple of these folks. Sarah Palin, um, seat of the pants. Oh, John McCain, uh, fiery. George Bush, disengaged. <laughs> Joe Biden. Um, Diary of the mouth. <laughs> Congress. Uh, dysfunctional. Republicans. Uh, dysfunctional. Democrats. <laughs> Minority. <laughs> huh. 